Good morning. Welcome to a new witchy themed vlog. In this video, we are celebrating one of my favorite 90s movies, Practical Magic. We're thrifting, we're making cocktails, and we go on a hunt for some spooky houses for a photo opportunity. So let's get into it. I actually thought because we talked about it a little bit in last week's video and I just changed my banner to look like the Practical Magic <laughs> cover of the DVD or like the cover of it now if you go on streaming and it's streaming it's just the poster that they used for it it's like their faces and candles and I laughed so hard when I made that I was like I look like I'm in Practical Magic. Practical Magic has been one of my favorite movies it came out in the 90s late 90s my really good friend I grew up with we just obsessed over it we got the soundtrack on CD and we would drive around listening to it and we talked about how we wish we were witches we just got so into it I love Sandra Bullock I love Nicole Kidman I love that movie. I always wanted to live in that house. And I still, to this day, when I imagine where I'm going to retire in my life, I imagine that. Fun little fact, the house doesn't exist. I thought for the longest time that it was like over in New England, that it was like on the other side. I've been dreaming all this time that I was gonna go find my witchy place over somewhere on the East Coast. That whole fake house was built on the San Juan Islands, another place I've talked about possibly retiring. San Juan Islands is one of my favorite places on the planet that I've ever been to. It's one of my happiest memories I've ever had. It was with my husband when we first started dating. He took me on a little weekend getaway to the San Juan Islands. Really swept me off my feet with that one. I think it might have been when I truly just felt like I was like in love with this man. When I found out that they had built that on the San Juan Islands in, in Friday Harbor, I, I was like, this whole time I've been daydreaming about the wrong place. Maybe that's where my dream home manifestation needs to be. But yeah, I guess uh, they ripped the whole thing down after the movie was over. There's a whole blog about that and with lots of photos and more information. I'll be sure to include that so that you guys can go read it yourself if you're interested about just more fun facts about that movie and the set and that beautiful home. The home is a huge part as to why that movie is so cozy to me. That's the theme of the week, is we're going to do some practically magic kind of themed stuff. We've covered the house. I wanted to tell you guys that little bit about it. I know I talk about witchy stuff a lot, I do. I'm just, I'm obsessed, okay? I'm obsessed. Today, I'm gonna prep the ingredients to make midnight margaritas. Midnight margaritas. And then cue the song, we all start dancing around the table. It's the first day of autumn at the end of this week, so by the time this goes up, it'll officially be autumn, which means that this is the perfect time to do a summer transitional drink, and I think a fall margarita would be perfect. So we're gonna do some midnight margaritas. I've ordered all the stuff, it's already here, but I need to prep for it so that I can start tomorrow on making it, right? The other thing I would like to do is I would like to go thrifting for just two things. So this is gonna be tough. But I am going to have to make a rule where I, I really want to avoid doing huge thrift hauls right now. I need a little bit of a moment of like just relaxing from doing over thrifting. For me, it's very easy to go thrifting every week and overspend, first of all, and also bring things into my home that I don't necessarily need need. So I'm being a little bit more choosy and I really want to try to limit what I'm getting. And we're just going to buy two pieces, something new that I can apply to my wardrobe and to my home that reminds me of this beautiful movie that I love so dear. If you guys are a big fan of Practical Magic 2, I think you're going to really enjoy this video because we're going to just do as much as we can. So in June of this past year, they have dropped on us that Practical Magic 2 is coming back. Yeah! It's got a lot to live up to. Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman. They cannot go wrong. I mean, I don't think there's one single thing I've seen either of them in that wasn't good. So let's get into this. Let's have some fun. Okay, so here's what we got going on for the Midnight Margaritas. I might experiment tonight just without filming it with my husband and try them and see what he thinks and then they're really going for it. They're chasing each other around the yard. There's like five chickens in my neighbor's backyard. I got this. It's called Seven Giants Premium Blue Agave. It looks like a freaking dragon egg. It is an Añejo style non-alcoholic spirit. And I did give it a little swig and I got scared and had to look at the front of it again to make sure that it was not alcoholic. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to make pumpkin spice. Pumpkin sp ice. 
basically I want to make ice that has pumpkin spice in it and apple juice. Now I have to make the apple juice. I have a bowl of apples here and I have a food uh, juicer. So I'm going to use the juicer to juice these apples and get some apple juice out of them. And then I'm going to put that juice into an ice tray with some pumpkin spice and we're making pumpkin spice balls that are going to be part of helping flavor this delicious midnight margarita. All right, we're gonna just sip on this apple juice and see what it tastes like. That tastes like cider. It's so delicious. Good morning. I am just getting ready to go to Pilates, but I thought I would show you guys a couple of things that came yesterday. <laughs> I'm sneezing so much lately. I don't, these dogs, I'm so glad they have each other to play with. I am. It fills our heart with so much joy seeing them play. If you've thought about getting a second dog, get a second dog because it's just so, it's so wholesome and cute to watch them play and get along. Anyway, they're going again. He's sweet with her. I mean, she loves him. Like, he shows his love in a different way. But she genuine, genuinely, genuinely loves him. Like, she has from the start. The moment we brought her home, she stuck to him like glue. And Marvin is her soulmate. Let's just talk about what I got. You're just going to have to listen to the shit suits in the background. This isn't that exciting, but I don't know if you're anything like me, but I'm constantly looking for my nail file. And I have a favorite nail file that I love that I'm, I'm always looking for it. And it's this style of nail file. I like these types that are the metal ones with the point and then the little handle on it on them. I just really like these particular types of nail files because you can get all the stuff out from underneath. They're good for like pushing back your cuticle if you put it on a side and they just stay like filey <laughs> forever. But I thought it would be smart to have a big pack of them and put one in every room. I'm going to have one in my purse. I'm going to have one in my desk. I'm going to have one on my other side on my closet. Downstairs, bathroom, kitchen window, side table. I'm saying my car. I want one in every room because I'm so sick of running around this dang house looking for one of these. And it was not that expensive to get this packet. And then this came too. These are those makeup pads that I talked about in my favorites video, which would have already gone up by now. I'm editing it right now so it can go up. But if you watch the favorites, I was going off about these sponges. I, I just, I love them. I forgot to clean up my mascara spot. These sponges are great. They're so soft and they just apply your translucent powder so like airbrushed. It just looks airbrushed. And it's really all about this triangle shape. Sure, this is cute, you know, and it works, but this shape is key because of the space that you can get into is the best part about it. I just love, I love that I can get in here. I love it so freaking much. So I bought these, if you can, if you want black, you can get these in black. I think they're in pink. And then this, I was saying it's emerald green, but now that I'm looking at it, they're more of a dark teal color, which those are really close in, in color. But let's open it. Look at how pretty. Oh, I love it. Ooh, 
no one talks about them. No one. I never hear anybody talking about them, which means I'm the first who's going off about it. I have on my outfit for the day. This is actually my gym wear underneath because I am heading to Pilates. I haven't been in a couple weeks. Last week I was so tired I canceled. So this week I really want to make sure I go. I don't want to fall off. I love going. We're hitting the thrift store afterwards, you guys. And we did a little test of the midnight margaritas last night. I have a couple of adjustments I need to do. I think it was a little too sweet. So I wanna make sure I balance the citrus with the sweet. So anyway, I'm gonna um, go finish getting ready for the day. I have some protein balls I also made yesterday. I'm gonna go eat. I saw somebody making protein balls out of pumpkin. <gasps> I love it, I love it. Okay, let's go um, get ready for the day. All right, well, here's my outfit. I feel like this is gonna work for going to the gym as well as thrifting afterwards. That was like the first time I ever got like starving in class. Did it really just say that? It just mapped me to Value Village. <laughs> No, it's my routine. Oh no. It's like, would you like? I noticed you just went to a workout. Would you like to go to Value Village next? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Am I that predictable, Google? I kind of always felt like I would eventually make like a friend in class, and I think it's gonna happen. I don't need to be like BFFs, but I just want to have some sort of community within the class and a girl that has been in every class that I've been in, we spoke. So you know, baby steps. <laughs> we talked about tattoos. Um, so yeah, it was cool. I was like, I, she, you know, she's been, I've always noticed her because she's just got an energy. You know how you just like, people just have a vibe and you're like, I know you. It's weird. So I feel like maybe something will come out of it. Maybe we can like go get a smoothie afterwards or something. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I just, I'm not a super social person. I don't really need to socialize. I have like friends I talk to, I have my husband, we do little things here and there, but like I don't crave social environments. Um, I am a lone wolf. Oh God. She was in my class. I'm so embarrassed. While thrifting, I was going for a boho witchy vibe, crushed velvet, lace, or anything black that I could style up. I was shooting for spending under $5 as a challenge to myself to not over shop. I also went to the home section and checked out potential props. Obviously these challenges are harder when I have something specific I need and I'm trying to do it within a like budget. That to me is the hardest because I circled that place like 10 times. But I got it, I got what I needed. And it wasn't until my last round that I was about to give up. And I was like, I guess I'll just get like a black coffee mug and put a candle in it. And then I found it. I found what I needed. So I got one clothing item and I got one home item. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to show you what I got at the thrift store. So this reminded me of the outfit, so she wore like a black dress. It was really beautiful on her. It was like when she was walking towards the house. I'll try to find the scene. Pearl buttons, which I am a sucker for pearl buttons. And I was thinking of using one of my detachable collars, which is this, on this mannequin right here. And look, it's got cute pearls on the sleeves. That's what got me with this. And it was part of the $1.99 sale. So all the red tagged items were $1.99 and blue were 50% off. Oh my gosh, you guys, it even has a cobweb. So this is a candle, but I love these types of candles that have the handles on them so you can carry them through the hallways. I was thinking it would be cool when it's closer to Halloween. I wanna order some of those candles that bleed. They have them in black where they bleed red or you can get the white ones and they bleed red. I think black would look more cool with this, but the white ones are really like in your face. They're bleeding. But I did bring a candle up here to see if it'll fit. This is a broken candle that was in the drawer. I like that it's short and stubby though, because I'm gonna light it. Ah, it fits in there perfectly. And I think if it was too tall, it would kind of make me nervous around the clothes. So I think this will be good for wearing the spooky outfit, lighting the candle, and then just like walking with this in my witchy outfit. It was 
a dollar fifty. And so all together I spent under four dollars. So that's everything. I'm gonna go give this a wash. Maybe go on Pinterest and get some inspiration. I will see you guys tomorrow on the outfit day. You know what's my ride or die? Coffee. <laughs> oh gosh, I think about like, I wonder if I should try giving it up for a while and then I get sad. So I don't think I'm ready. I realized when I did my video last week that I only had two Halloween-y and fall mugs. And so now I've just given myself permission to get more. I think I need more. So when I'm out and about shopping throughout the next month, it's on because two is not enough. Look how amazing my castle looks behind me. Look how filthy. I'm just gonna take the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna sweep this really light vanilla color. It's called Tempera all over my eye. I was just watching RuPaul's Drag Race and Norvina was on it. It's the Drag Race Global All-Stars and Norvina had a little cameo and she's like so freaking cute and she's almost 40 and she has like bright colored hair. Her makeup is very drag. It's very cool and I'm just like goals. I admire that. I just love that. Sometimes I miss having wild hair colors. Maybe I can do something temporary. I just really don't want to mess my hair up because you guys know how tough this hair journey. Everything's a journey all the time now. It's like, it's this journey, sobriety journey, hair journey. Everything's a journey. And I'm not really gonna do anything else except for this and a black eyeliner because they didn't wear a lot of makeup. They were just not so naturally beautiful in the movie. But I just need something for fun, you know? I'm gonna go in with the Epic Ink favorite eyeliner. I actually think I'm just gonna do, I need to get closer, so I might have to just do this. Filming and makeup at the same time. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bigot. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> Halfway on the lid, as close to the lash as I can get without getting any of this on the lash. And then I want this to be really sharp and outwards, but not lifted. Can't, this is like, <laughs> I'm gonna screw it up because I'm trying to do it on camera. I'm just gonna get close to my mirror. See you later. Oh, see, just in one swoop. I had to, also, I have to pull my skin because if not, it feathers. Okay, I did like 25 coats of mascara using the Radial, Rodial, Rodial mascara in double XL. Put like 50,000 coats of that on. We're gonna go with this because it's just, I love it. I freaking, I mean, I, I keep going off about it. I think we're gonna do one of these ones. In the movie, they didn't really wear any sort of like really witchy lipsticks that I can remember. I was gonna watch it again, but I've seen it so many times. I have it on DVD in my basement. I'm just like, do I put it, put this, do I have a DVD player? I'm gonna avoid the eyes because I have so much mascara on. If I spray my eyes, it is going to bleed all over my face. Draw that bitch off. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna do black cherry on the lip. Something I totally forgot about this lipstick is it doesn't play nice with liners. See how it's starting to get crusty on the edges? I don't think I can wear this lipstick. I can't. It's not it. It's not it. I don't have the color that I want. What I want is like a really deep ox blood. Okay, so I forgot I did melt down a bunch of MAC lipsticks. Okay, so I'm gonna get my spatula to shave a little off. I want ox blood. Okay, so I think if I take this red, spicy. Mm -hmm. And I mix it with this MAC one. We're getting somewhere. I want like vampire lips, you know what I mean? This is the NYX suede, so it has that suede velvet lip look I'm going for. It's really like on the matte side. I'm telling you ladies, if you want a lipstick, sometimes you have to make it yourself, but I will be on the hunt for the best oxblood lipstick I can find. That is like a liquid, maybe? I haven't been NW20 in a long ass time. <laughs> this is like what I was for years with the Studio Fix. Ooh, you can really, if you're looking for a replacement sponge, I mean, you can get the Matte Mac, the little replacement sponges, but look at how that guy, oh, yes, ma'am. I just wanna get the areas where the makeup tends to pull apart. 
I'm just using the tip so like I'm putting it on like just the tip part just the tip <laughs> I love it <gasps> do I love it so we have the sweater it's all good to go and I'm thinking of putting it with this black pleated skirt I wear this all the time it's my favorite and we need a very witchy collar so we're going with this one this is from the brand sleeper okay so let's go ahead and put this on look at how cute i have to keep backing up until i can tell that you can see it oh god <laughs> look how cute i mean i know i just got a black very similar sweater i hate talking about stuff and not showing it i still have the tags on <laughs> I haven't even worn it yet. This one that I love so dear that I thrifted recently, it's still tagged. Oh, it's so good. But I'm saving this for something really, really special, like maybe a date night or I don't know. This is, this is honestly, if there was a uniform that just says Sienna, that is me. Look at how perfect. Oh, it looks so good. The new Calvin Klein felt hat that I got from Saks Fifth Avenue. And it's the witchiest hat of all witchy hats. And I knew that I just have to get it and hold on to it until the perfect day. And today is that day. I haven't worn this hat yet. I haven't even been photographed in it. I love clothes. Sienna, you, know, you need to calm down. This is why nobody follows you. Because you're such a dork. These are the shoes because isn't it a thing on the movie The Witches that witches always have to wear square tipped? Isn't that a thing? There you go. There's the shoes. Cute. I am feeling this. Do you ever trust your first initial feeling? Okay, wait, here, this is the cover, which is now my banner. I need to be careful with this. Well, it's official. I was just called a pilgrim. <laughs> it's this. It's the Peter Pan collar. Instantly called a pilgrim. And the hat probably doesn't help either. My husband's at the chiropractor. And then we're going to walk over and get coffee. And next to it is his friend's tattoo shop. So we're just going to pop in and say hi. But uh, the place that we're going to go is on the historical registry. Let me read you about this while we're waiting. I'll read you the story behind this house we're going to. It's called the Fog House. It's built in 1890. It's in the Stadium District. Stadium District is also where there is the Stadium High School. It's a really cool Gothic high school. I did a video about that and I walked around the school a little bit, but I don't have the proper drone or location to get the best view of that school, which is the side, if you can really see how grandiose it is. A well-known attorney came to Tacoma for the mild weather in hopes of restoring his health. After a year in Tacoma, he started a law practice, W.H. Doolittle, that was considered to be Tacoma's most profitable law offices when he retired in 1903. It's a private. Hmm. I really don't like taking photos in front of private houses. <laughs> I gotta figure out the right place. I want a place that looks like the house. Guys, sometimes I don't know why I get myself into these things. Yeah, that's the Tacoma Historical Society building on that side. I think it says it across the top, but they have all sorts of information about this. Look at the barge. Looks like the cheerleaders are down there. Oh, I used to be a cheerleader in high school. That used to be me. Cute. <laughs> Embarrassing my husband. Okay, will you do me a favor? Leave it to you to find a broken part on the fence. Oh, they all do that. Okay, I'm gonna take my pilgrim collar off 
success, Bob? He's looking at all the photos because I got some photos of him too. But um, we went and got some video. It was perfect. We didn't want to do video at, at like the residential homes because it's someone's home. So I felt really weird about getting video of it, but at least I have a photo that will be perfect for the um, like cover photo. And I could put it here so you guys can see the one of the house, the purple, the fog house. It's called the fog house because it's named after the guy. Did you know that? That place was called the fog house. It was born in, e or born. <laughs> it was built in 1890. Here I am just preaching on about historical facts. I love old buildings. Hopefully all my buttons were buttoned. Anyway, we're gonna go to the Red Hot. We're gonna go get hot dogs. All right, let's do this. Lovely evening walk to the Red Hot. Mmm, hot dogs. Hi, Kiki. Oh, no, come back. Hi, buddy. We got the Red Hot. What is that? Mozzarella. I mean, uh, marinara. Marinara. Oh, it's like a pizza. Bomb. Jeez. And it's vegan? Mine is a vegan dog as well, but I got bacon on it because I'm a weirdo. This is called the jalapeno popper. Look at that thing. <laughs> Let's try this. I'm so glad that there is an NA option of having tequila for those of us who don't drink because that stuff tastes so much like tequila. It's kind of scary. I just put my little apple pumpkin spice balls so those will slowly melt into the margarita and keep it nice and frozen for a little bit longer so it doesn't melt too quick. And uh, as you saw, we have mango, and we have tequila, and we have some limeade, and some homemade simple syrup. That was nutmeg and cinnamon simple syrup, just sugar and water. Just a little dash of that, so it's not too sweet, because the mango is really sweet enough as it is. So anyway, do you know what this drink means though? This. on this. Thank you so much for watching another video. I hope you enjoyed the Practical Magic theme. I love doing themes. I can't always promise one, but when I do them, they're super fun. I hope you like it. Just thumbs up if you did. And subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Cheers. Bye.